Baijiu is the world's most popular category of distilled spirits. Every year, China produces about 10 billion liters of Baijiu, which is more than the annual production of vodka, whiskey, gin, and tequila combined. But for the rest of the world, they're only starting to discover it. In Mandarin, the word Baijiu means white spirits. But in actuality, what baijiu is is a category of grain spirits that are produced in traditional Chinese methods. There are 12 officially recognized styles of baijiu that are loosely grouped by production style and geographic region. The four most important styles are rice aroma baijiu, which comes from southeastern China, and then you have light aroma baijiu, which comes from northern China, and then in the southwest of China, you have strong aroma baijiu and sauce aroma baijiu. Baijiu can be made in many different ways, but the three most important ingredients are grain, water, and chu, which is a naturally harvested culture of microorganisms, usually yeast, mold, and bacteria. Many different grains can be used to make baijiu. Sometimes rice is used, but most often baijiu's are based in sorghum, which is a tall, stocky African plant that has hard kernels like corn. Making baijiu is a very complicated process, but I like to think that every baijiu involves five steps. Those are steaming, fermentation, distillation, maturing, and blending. You start with steaming, and this is to break down the outer cell walls of the grains and make it easier for the microorganisms from the chew to enter the grain. When you mix the chew together with the grain, that begins fermentation, where the starch within the grain is converted into alcohol by the combination of the mold and the yeast within the chew. After the grain has been fermented from anywhere from a few days to several weeks, you will take that grain and put it back in a steamer where you will run steam through and the heat of the steam will extract the alcoholic vapors, which will cool back down into a liquid that we would call a baijiu. Now, each one of these baijos that you create, you're going to age separately in terracotta clay jars in order to mellow out the consistency of the drink and to develop more complicated flavors. Finally, you take aged baijo and you blend different batches of it together. And you do this to maximize the flavors and balance them out within the baijo, but you also do this to maintain consistency from one batch of baijo to the next. Consumption of baijiu is communal. You always drink with other people in tiny little shot glasses like this with a shout of gambe or dry the glass. And you do just that. Followed by the presentation of the glass to prove that you have in fact finished it. Baijiu can be found everywhere in China. Usually it's served during meal times and often to guests at business meetings. It's served at holidays and at major celebrations like weddings. In China, baijiu is almost always served neat and at room temperature, but it's becoming increasingly common to use baijiu in a cocktail ingredient both within and without China, where its versatility as a category creates lots of possibilities for enterprising bartenders. If you'd like to learn more about baijiu, please check out our website, social media, or other videos, or start learning the old-fashioned way, one drink at a time. Gambe.